All right, so you're in the market for an entry-level size crossover, but you want a couple extra features with it. I've got a Nissan Kicks, and this is our mid-level trim, the SV here behind me. I want to show you why this is such an amazing choice. We're going to go over the features on this, and then we're going to do what we can to book you in for a test drive. Okay, so this is the 2021 Nissan Kicks SV. It's an entry-level size crossover, front-wheel drive, 1.6 liter, four-cylinder engine, very peppy. Really, really amazing on fuel. Beautiful 17 inch alloys on this. But I wanna get into some of the features. So in behind here, we have a radar and this is what's gonna be used for your automatic emergency braking and forward collision warning. It's also what's gonna be used for your adaptive cruise control. Up in the window here, we've got a camera. This is used for your pedestrian detection. It's also gonna be used for your lane departure warning and your high beam assist. These are all amazing features that are pretty standard on our vehicle. On the inside of the vehicle here, we have an intelligent key system. So one push and this door is unlocked. I can see my blind spot indicators on the inside of the vehicle here. They will light up and stay lit up at dull orange as long as part of the vehicle is in your blind spot, just to let you know something's there. But while it's on, if you signal, it will start to flash and it will beep at you inside the vehicle. On the back here, when you're backing up, we have rear cross traffic detection to let you know when there's something coming at you as you're backing up. Once it gets within approximately two car lengths of you, it will let you know inside the vehicle by beeping at you. In whichever direction it's coming from, your blind spot indicator on that side will be flashing. Now, neatly tucked away here on my bumper or my sensors, this is for my rear sonar to let me know as I'm starting to get close to something. The closer you get, the faster the beeping will be. And once you get within about one foot, which we're not too far from here, if you're still continuing back, it will automatically apply the brake fully to avoid any type of a collision back here. Now we're gonna have a quick peek in the back of this here. There is a ton of room in the back. We see lots of storage space here, 60-40 split on the back seats. All I gotta do is lift this pin on either one and you can see it'll fold forward for you nice and easily, giving all kinds of room. And underneath here, we do have our jack and tire iron and as you can see, the spare tire. So no repair kit, we've got a full spare tire in there. Really, really nice design to this, but we're gonna have a look on the inside to see what else you're gonna get with this. On the inside of the kicks, I see a really nice eight inch color touchscreen display here. AM, FM, satellite radio, Bluetooth, USB, one and two, because we've got two different types of USB down here, type A and a type C. And then we've got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well. So lots of options there available for you. Down below, we have a digital climate control and heated seats are right up there beside there. So no accidentally hitting the heated seats on or off. We have an electronic parking brake now. So with this, if I lift up, my parking brake is engaged and it shows me up here on the dash as well to disengage it. I'm gonna put my foot on the brake and push down. Auto hold is a neat little feature that when it's turned on and you're buckled up, when you come to a full complete stop, whether it's at a red light or in a drive through when that's on, you'll see a little A that's up here that will turn green instead of white. And when it's green, you can take your foot off the brake. The brake is held on. The vehicle is still running, but the brake is held on. And as soon as you touch the gas, that green, will, green A will turn white and you're gonna continue on because it will release the brake at that point. Push button ignition and with your push button ignition, right on your key fob from the factory, you're gonna get remote start. So great option there as well. We have our cup holders here. And what's really neat about this is if you have a larger cup, you can stand that centerpiece up and it goes deeper and it's contoured there to help hold the cup place in place. Center console is new this year in this. You get a bit of storage in there as well. And on the back, we've got a couple of USB ports for anybody looking to charge their phone in the back. And before we touch on the steering wheel, I do want to show you there is a heated steering wheel. It is leather wrapped and it is heated as well. Bluetooth hands free for your phone and it will stream Bluetooth. My cruise control is turned on right here. And when I do that, I see it up there. But what's really nice about this, as I mentioned outside the vehicle, there is adaptive cruise and you can set your distance for your car lengths. One, two or three car lengths plus safe distance, all right there. On the left side of my wheel, I've got my volume for my radio. I can also go through my presets. And as I do so, I can see over here and it will show me right up here on the screen, all of my presets. 
and you can mix the satellite radio along with your regular radio on the presets itself, which is really nice. My OK button here with the arrows around it is gonna take me through all of my features. So we're gonna pop back to the main screen here, which is a digital tachometer. I can see I've got a full tank of gas down here and 487 kilometers to empty at the moment. Next screen over, I can see all of my radio info. So from here, I have full control of everything to do with my audio, all with the push of a thumb while I'm driving while keeping my eyes on the road. Next screen over shows me my average fuel economy, which is running quite high at the moment, and we'll see why in just a second. But we are rated for 7.7 .7 liters per 100 kilometers in the city, 6.6 .6 on the highway, and 7.2 combined. What I can tell you is the highway rating is wrong, but it's wrong in your favor. From, drive, from my own experience in driving one of these all summer long, as well as several of my colleagues, what we've discovered is your highway fuel economy, instead of 6.6, .6, we were getting between 5.8 and 6, which also meant that your combined fuel economy is going to be down closer to 6.8 or 6.7 instead of the 7.2. So really, really amazing on gas. Next screen over, I have a digital speedometer as well as what's going on with my radio. I see a bunch of dots on the side here. So if I go down, the reason that we've only got 8.9 is it's taken 23 hours and 48 minutes to go 862 kilometers here. So I'm just gonna reset all of this so that the next person driving it can get a fresh start on this. As we back out, we'll go down the next screen and I can see a tire pressure monitoring system which is really neat. There's a few extra features with that that we'll go over with you before you take your test drive. There's my coolant temperature, my chassis control to show me how the vehicle is handling hard turns or bumps and where on the vehicle it's handling them. There's my adaptive cruise that we talked about and visuals to go with all of the safety features that we did mention. Now our experience is you are gonna be more focused on what's going on around you than you are on the screen there to see what the safety features are. Now with this, you also have a high beam assist. I did mention that outside. So I'm gonna cover off my light sensors to force the headlights to come on. And then we see the headlights come on down below here. Now I'm gonna push my signal indicator to the high beam position. And I see what looks like a green bullet with an A in it down here. That means high beam assist is on. Those are now automatic high beams at nighttime, guys. It's an amazing feature. I absolutely love this. I never have to worry about turning the high beams on or off or somebody flicking theirs at me because I forgot to turn mine off. So this is your first look at the SV Kicks. It's a great vehicle. I do, I do want to get you in for a test drive so that you can experience this for yourself. It is the best vehicle in its category on gas and you'll see that, but despite that, it is quite peppy very fun to drive, very easy to park, lots of great features on it. Let's get you all set up for a test drive and then we'll get you all the numbers. We're gonna make it as quick and simple as possible to minimize exposure. We've got some great uh, protocols in place. So reach out to me, let's get you all set up. I know once you drive it, if it's the right vehicle for you, we're gonna make everything happen that we need to so that you can drive away in one of these.